a lot of people here. So I'm here guys again in Alcazar Park for a walk. Calimera or Calispera because it's very past 12 here in Greece. So I'm here again in Alcazar Park for a walk. Actually, I just went in the bank to open my bank account, so it's already done. I've been there for an hour. So I decided to take a walk since I'm already outside, guys. This is still early. I'm going for a walk in a while, going around here, and then later on, I'm gonna vlog for you guys. Because I have a good news guys for you. It's a beautiful day today guys. It's not cold unlike the previous week. It was really cold. But today is quite warm. It's, I think before I left the house when I checked the temperature it's uh, 17 degrees Celsius guys so it's like uh, spring already but it's 17 degrees Celsius oh, the fountain is one here guys so I'm gonna show you there's a fountain here in Alcazar Park Guys, oh, I have this already. Hmm. There and a lot there as well. And then there. See here, there's a lot. Alright guys, so I found a good spot to vlog. So I'm sitting just right here in the garden. So behind me is a garden of the park, of Alcazar Park. And there's a tree here. Yeah, this one. So it gives me shadow guys. So it's not hot. <laughs> Sorry guys, I didn't bring my headset. So my audio will not be so loud guys. Maybe it's too soft for you to hear, but I'm going to adjust when I edit this video. Anyway, welcome back guys to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Jariel. And I'm making video about our travel and experiences here in Greece. So, so if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe to my channel. So to help my channel grow. In today's video guys, I'm going to share with you my experience regarding my uh, job hunting here in Greece. Because recently, I've been uh, looking for a job here in Greece. Since I've been here for more than three years, so I think uh, it's the time for me to work already. So I can help my husband since uh, he had an operation and uh, we are not yet financially stable. Because my husband just had surgery, so I think uh, this is the good time or... I think it's time for me already to help him and look for a job and he's going to have another surgery soon so that's why I asked him whether I can work already so I can help him with our finances here in Greece because now as you know everything is getting expensive the food the groceries everything so it's getting expensive so his salary is uh, just enough for us to survive but we can able to save money for some other things so i decided to find a job so we can able to help each other the thing is my husband allowed me to work already even uh, i'll be away from him uh, more than six months because i'll be working in the island guys i have tried to apply here in larissa before i applied in the island but no one replied me 
I applied in that. I have sent my CB in the hotel's website, in their website, or in their email address. But no one's replied me. Only one have replied to me. But uh, they suggested me to apply for their chain hotel in the island because there's uh, there's one hotel here in Larissa as a uh, chain hotel. They have a lot of chain hotel in the island, so maybe I can have an opportunity to work there. So so from there, I got an idea that where I will not going to have an opportunity to work here unless I'm a Greek speaker or unless if I have learn their language because they don't have tourists here in Larissa so most of their uh, customer in the hotel most of their guests or even in the restaurant most of their um, guests or customers are all Greek are all local so it's really necessary to speak in Greek when someone replied me with my application that uh, I can apply in their chain hotel so I got an idea that yeah why not to uh, since I have no I will not going to have the opportunity to find job here in Larissa why not try to apply in the island I started to apply uh, this January last week of January yeah two weeks yeah it's in the middle of January here. Yeah. So what I did is I went in all job website uh, with job posting like uh, like Carriera, Lincoln, Indeed.com. Yeah, so I made an account there. I registered. I do the registration. And then I uploaded my CV. Once you register on those websites, guys, it will be easy for you to apply for a job because you just have to uh, browse in the website which job you want to apply and then you just have to send your CV or just click apply. And then that's all. And then that's what I did. So it's just after, in just after a few days guys i just listen i'm very really very surprised because in just after a few days i really receive a call from hr department from the hotels and then asking me whether i'm still interested for the job and then so then after that and then i say yes i'm still looking for the job right now yeah in hotel so i say the position that i wanted to apply for and then after that they asked me for an interview for video call interview so we have arranged a video call interview and then from there uh, i started to get busy for almost two weeks guys so for two weeks guys i've been busy accommodating all those uh interviews video call interviews and uh calls yeah so um, i have done i think uh 10 interviews i had an interview in halkidiki which is the nearest resort with us it's only in the saloniki so i got a few interviews from different hotel from there and then in kefalonia then i had another interview in crete in corfu and in samos guys and then i got i received a call as well in kos in one of the hotel in Kos. Yeah, so overall, I think I had eight video call interviews, guys. And then aside from that, um, calls. Yeah, from the agent. So for those interviews, guys, I have learned, I got an idea of how much is their salary here. And then, because uh, during the interview, they told me already uh, what will be the job. By the way, guys, applying for a front office job because I had um, more than six years experience in front office in Singapore, and then I had two years a work experience in restaurant. But I prefer to work as a front office or receptionist uh, job, guys, because uh, working in the restaurant is really very busy. During the initial interviews, uh, the interviewer will going to tell you your job position what will be the job position you're, that you're going to to have and then after that they were going to inform you already what are 
the benefits included when you work with them that's a good thing here guys if you will be working in the island um, it's a full board most of their offer is a full board so it means you can have an accommodation you can have your three meals so you can have your breakfast lunch and dinner so it's all included and then um, transportation is also provided so you're going to have a social insurance which is compulsory here in Greece when you have a full-time job the company will going to pay for you for your insurance so seasonal job is actually considered as a full-time job so if it's full-time job uh, you have the benefits of leave and then medical leave so you can have it and then they also explained to me that you can have bonuses as well salary here in Greece when I compare in Singapore is not so much but they provide accommodation transportation and then insurance unlike in Singapore when I work there salary is high but you don't have insurance you don't have accommodation so it's all not included so from your salary you have to spend for all of those but you can still save in Singapore because it's up to you how you're going to spend your salary so if you're not going to go out always then you can save money and about the salary here in your case is about lower but it's fine because uh, I have computed it's fine because they have included the insurance accommodation food and transportation and then you can have your bonuses as well so it's like uh, only a bit when I compare it with the salary in Singapore so it's only a bit lower because in Singapore I can save my the half of my salary and here I can save that salary because I don't need to spend money already because I already have my free accommodation and free meal so I don't need to spend unless I'm going to buy something for my personal expenses like uh, my makeup so like my makeup and for my personal hygiene or toilet and then guys for working hours some of the hotels here in Greece offers eight hours of works but then there's some hotels who are offering nine hours of work with a lower salary so some of the hotels offers only two days off per month and then others are offering four days off per week so it's really very good and then paying you around 1000 to 1100 um, euro will be very good already guys with free accommodation insurance and food so if you're here in Greece guys and you wanted to look for a job it's really very easy for you if, if you are an English speaker so the job here in hospitality industry is really in demand so by the way guys you can find also job in a Facebook group yeah you can some of the hotels or employer are posting their job vacancy there there's really a lot of jobs here especially in hospitality and during uh, summer season so you will really find a job here in Greece guys during summer season especially when you're in this so some of the hotels most of the hotels in the island here especially uh, for those touristic island like Bicona Santorini so they're looking for um, English speaker stuff so but of course if you know how to speak Greek so it will be an advantage for you guys so that's the good news guys so I'll be working soon the start of my job will be on April to until October so it's gonna be a six month uh, summer job I need to travel in the island uh, one week before the season starts so I'll be traveling in the island at the end of um, at the end of March yeah so I'll be away with my husband for more than six months guys that's why every night uh, he was telling me oh you will be leaving me soon you will be leaving me soon it's six months it's not a short period like three months only it's gonna be six months so if you'll be thinking six months is almost 
half of the year so half of the year we're not going to see each other it's gonna be fine because uh, at least we can save money at least we can save money this year and then if everything okay then I can come back for next summer job so we can go for a holiday or we can go back in the Philippines for holiday guys it's because he wanted to go in the Philippines because he haven't been there so he want he wanted to visit uh, Palawan or El Nido yeah so and then we've been checking actually we've been checking the price of the hotels there and the tours and the prices of tickets so it's really very expensive if you're coming here from Europe and like from uh, going to Thailand is more cheaper yeah or in Vietnam is more cheaper when you travel from here to Thailand is more cheap it's more cheaper you can find a ticket from 700 to 800 but if you were going to travel in the Philippines from here the ticket is already 1000 plus guys so it's really very exp and it's only for one person so it's really very expensive so for us for just one for one ticket for one person is already 60,000 pesos or more then we are two so it's gonna be 120,000 is just only for the ticket so if we're going to include the hotels and then the uh, allowances food allowances and then for the tourists there if we're going to stay for well, let's say for one week or 10 days so you really need uh, you really need I think 4,000 4,000 or 5,000 euro guys yeah if you really wanted to have a very good uh, holiday yeah so that's why hopefully everything will be okay guys so I'll be working soon if I'm going to have time there uh, I'm going to still I'm going to vlog guys for you so you can see what is the condition of working here in Greece in the island yeah I really wanted to know as well I really wanted to explore Greece so by this way I can also explore Greece and the island of Greece uh, by working in the island so at the same time I can earn money and then at the same time I can uh, explore the island during my free time or during my off day yeah it's really good I think uh, that's the good thing when you're working in the island here guys if you're a foreigner so you're going to have a chance to uh, to travel and to work here in Greece really very good chance really very good opportunity that's why uh, some other nationalities uh, coming from UK and other neighbor countries here in Europe they are coming here in Greece for work with accommodation because uh, they can have free accommodation at the same time they can earn money here during summer I can give you an idea guys for that if you're coming from other countries and you wanted to work here because I think you have to go for uh, an agency who can process your papers so there's really a lot of job here in hospitality industry guys during summer season so you can actually work here during summer or even stay here after your work it depends on your employer so so i can only share my experience with you now because i'm already here in peace and i have the I have my resident permit I have a full access market here in Greece so it means I'm allowed to work here in Greece so that's why I'm taking a chance to work here while I'm here if you are planning to find a job here in Greece then maybe it will be helpful for you guys there's a truck coming I don't know what truck is that I think it's a truck oh, oh my god oh. So dusty oh my god it's so dusty <laughs> all the dust go to me already 
alright. Uh, so, yeah, so that's all for today's vlog, guys. So, if you're here already in Greece and you're looking for a job, a lot of job here, especially in hospitality industry, guys. Because when I'm browsing for a job, um, I've seen a lot of uh, job vacancy. I've seen a lot of job vacancy in all in all the department of the hotel, from from front office, maintenance, housekeeping, gardener, yeah, bellboy, porter, yeah, it's all. They have all because uh, aside that, there's a lot of hotels here in Greece in different islands. They still making a new hotels, guys. So it, it means the business in hotel industry here in Greece is really in demand. That's why uh, it's keep on expanding. Like my employer, guys, they only have one hotel, and then now they have new hotel. So actually, uh, I think I'm going to work with their new hotel, guys. It's a suit and spa. So they just opened a new hotel last year and then the, this year is the second year. That's why they need more stuff. Then aside from that, I've seen a lot of new hotels from different islands. Like they were going to open only this year. Because recently, I just received a reply from one of the hotels uh, which is uh, going to open only this year. So it's like their grand opening this year guys. So it's going, they were going to operate only this year they are looking for new stuff it's really very overwhelming because when i started to apply and send my cv really i got overwhelmed with the calls and interviews in just few days i received an interview even until now i'm really surprised guys how in demand is the hospitality job here in greece imagine in one island if how many hotels they have do you think the Greek can provide them all the stuff that they need? No, because it's really, they have a massive demand here of stuff in hospitality industry. Actually, I have read an article that, uh, article regarding with that, they have a shortage of employee in the hotel industry guys because uh, most of the Greek people they, they doesn't want to work like eight hours or nine hours a day so some of them they are choosing like part-time job yeah so they don't want to work during Saturday and Sunday yeah that's why there's a lot of demand here for stuff in the hospitality industry it's really hard for them to find a greek staff who's willing to work with them especially uh, with a low salary but for me guys i find that the salary in hospitality industry here is better than uh, working in a regular job especially here in larisa yeah. salary here is much lower the job in the islands really good for single person and if you love traveling or if you want to explore places then this job is really good for you because you can work in different islands every season guys let's say uh this year this season the summer season you will work in santorini and then after that on the next season or next year you can work in mcconnell's or in other island so you will going to have a chance to explore Greece and at the same time uh, you are not going to worry about your accommodation your insurance and your food because it's a full board accommodation guys so that's the good thing if you'll be working in the island so it's really I find it it's really good for single person or if you don't have children yet. Oh, all right guys so wish me luck soon for my job Hopefully all the staff will be good, the monitors and all the employees will be good guys. So I'll be enjoying my job because uh, it's very important that all your colleagues will be very friendly including the managers and the hotel management. So, so if the workplace will be friendly, the place will going to be a good place to work. Yeah, so... That's all for today's vlog guys. I hope guys I have gave you an idea uh, 
how to apply for a job here in Greece and when I got there in the island guys uh, I'll make sure to have time to vlog as well so during my free time so I can share with you what is the work condition here of working here in Greece guys all right, that's all for today's vlog guys thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one I'll see you on my next one guys bye bye love you all Thank uh...